2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Northern Shore Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be covering this featured group. We've got a fresh rivalry developing between these two players as well, so that should provide some great entertainment to the spectators this week. Well, it looks like this player is aiming to beat Lexi Thompson, which very few people can boast. This should be an exciting showdown, Henny. Uh, Luke, Lexi's young but has been on tour for about 30, 40 years it seems. She's been playing forever. She doesn't lack an experience. She can do it all. Not to mention, you'll be looking at her back for most of the day because she'll outdrive you. Yes, Lexi loves the long ball and so do we. Good luck in this rivalry because when Lexi gets on top, it's very hard to beat her. And let's see what he can do here today. That's not the one he wanted. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Game of the seven. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Distance control not easy when you're coming out of the rough. And the effort, that one. Nine feet to the cup. Hey, that's a chance. And that's an opening hole par for this player. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole played. He's currently tied for seventh. Now let's hear from our on-course reporter, John McCarthy, who I see is just rolling up his beach towel. Been striding the fairways here in Florida for the last couple of days leading up to the event. John, what's the Emory Beach Club all about? Well, Luke, one thing it's about is uh, it's about water. Uh, water hazards will feature prominently on this course this week. The greens also very undulating. There are ridges. There are shelves. There are tiers. I hope the players have done their homework this week because uh, these approach shots into these greens just... They're always important, but especially so here at Emory Beach. Several holes feature one of them is Nemesis, uh, the tiny bunker. The tiny bunker is in play this week, so you got to be careful off the tee as they seem to pop out where you least expect them. Beautiful Florida course, though. Uh, I will enjoy the scenery, and I, I hope the players will enjoy the challenge of Emory Beach Club this week.
Come on, ball. Come on. And it'll be a good result. I know it didn't go down, but it's just a tap in awaits. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She's one stroke behind her rival in this event. Getting ready to play their third. And there it goes from the sand. Let's take a look at the current standings. Next up is this two-shot hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. <laughs> Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in with Colin Morikawa as he gets set for his next shot here on the seventh. Oh, what a great stroke. Second shot here on the third. Yeah, that one's looking good. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. rolling end over end this putt's looking great and that will drop in for birdie currently one under for the tournament i'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last let's see if they can deliver another one Luke, that's a stonking drive. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. They've got to use all the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down. Sitting at one under. Currently tied third, just a couple out of top spot. Well, that's a handy shot. This putt is of nine feet.
Yep, tracking nicely. And that's a way to back from a tough break. Well hold. With that putt, they went from the outhouse to the penthouse. Our current leader is up by three shots. The fifth hole here at Emory Beach Golf Club is 172 yard par three from the back tees. Rich, what were your thoughts? Luke, the water on the left-hand side really is just there for decoration. Doesn't come into play. The difficult part, though, is this green sits well above the fairway there on the left-hand side. Most players are going to be bailing out, not wanting to go in that bunker to the right, but you miss it out to the left. you got a really challenging up and down. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Good shot there, Beamer. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Oh, just missed. And this one is for his par. Yeah, this is looking nice. Well, that's a clutch par. Unreal display this week with that wand. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Ouch, that hurts. That'll sting a bit. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. No, that's not the shot they wanted. The ladies' game has been uh, dominated by Koreans for such a long time, but uh, America has been able to have this resurgence basically off the back of Lexi Thompson and the generation she's started to inspire. Lexi Thompson is so fun to watch because she's got a very unique swing, and when you look at it, you, you kind of look back and you go, okay, that went a long way. Okay, that went right at the hole. And she's got such control over her golf ball. It, it's amazing. And the winds are going to continue to pile up for her year after year. I'm blown away by the fact that she is so aggressive on every single shot. There is no laying up in her game, and I love that. Now, that might cost her a few wins, but I tell you what, she's going to have a lot of wins because of that as well. I love the way she plays the game. It's exciting. Nicely done. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. 
This would be a great up and down from this spot. On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. This putt for par here. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Good putt, that. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Uh, right up in the canopy of the trees. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Time for the second shot here at the seven. That's some good golf right there. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. Yeah, she's down, she's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Just a couple of inches away from finding that one. Oh, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. Oh, terrific. What an effort. And that will take him to two under. And he finds himself in a tie for third. This one's a par three. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, almost went in. Taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Five wins so far this season.
Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, dear. Can she get out of this one? She'll probably be better off if she just throws this out. I mean, this is really just not nice at all. Oh, stop it. What a way to make you par. And this is why you got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, nice looking putt. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take him to four under. Okay, it's time to make the turn and a good time to reflect on the action so far, Rich. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Tee shot is looking good here. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Currently a shot off the lead. Needs this to kick a bit left. That's inside the house of opportunity. Would need something special to happen to get the birdie here. Here's Lexi Thompson. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Now, this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. had eyes for it the whole way and that will take him to f <laughs> moments like that deserve another look what an amazing part from way out Currently at minus five now for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. for the five wood yeah 
Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. They're going to walk this one in. Oh, what an excellent time to make a big putt like that. And you bet their rival know just what happened. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Here we are, Rich, on the 12th tee at Emory Beach. And this par five is at 550 from the back tees. And what a hole this is. Bunker down the right-hand side comes into play if you really miss hit it. But the one right in the center, that little zit, I tell you what, that is going to make some players angry. I can promise you that. If you avoid all that, second shot, fairly straightforward. Anything bailing out to the right is going to lead to a really simple pitch shot for your up-and-down birdie. Nicely done. After a very consistent run of play over the last half a dozen starts or so, Rich, this player's coming with a whole heap of confidence, and they look to me to be one of the players to beat. Do you agree? We've seen this player time and time again contend for tournaments, and it is no surprise to see him doing it once again this week. It is so fun watching this player. They're in top form. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and getting rewarded for it. Right by the hole. Four feet to the cup. That will drop and he will extend the lead. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She made bogey, gave one back on the last hole. They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Second shot here on the 13th.
Gee, I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. Putting for birdie. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. That starts off on a good line. And down it goes. And with that, we'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And now that finds him in first place. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Eight under for the day, currently in top spot. Yep, that shot safely on the green. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. That's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She had a bad previous hole, came off with bogey. And she's hold it. Needed it, needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. Our leader is up by four shots now. Welcome to this hole, it's a par four.
Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. A lovely shot into a few feet from around 180 yards out. Game of the seven. This is from miles away. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Leading by three strokes now. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Choosing the 9-iron here. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Well, that's beautifully judged. This part to get to 10 under par. This is what they have left for birdie here. Get excited. This could go in. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? Yeah, she's down. She's behind. Her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. They could hold it from here. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Every Beach Golf Club is another one of these courses, Rich, that has a short par for 17th. It does. As you can see, a massive bunker down the left-hand side. So players really want to bail out to the right and leave themselves with just a nice, short little pitch shot. Only the brave and the longest are really going to want to challenge this green. A great opportunity for one final birdie.
Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 17th. This putt is about eight feet. Looking for another birdie here. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Still in the lead now after that hole. All right, one more hole to go. The 18. Good looking shot this. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. It was going to take a mighty wallop to get there, but in a good position. Getting ready to play their third. Trying to move to 12 under par with this putt.
And then with that, this round comes to a close. So there you have it, in the house, in top spot after the opening round. Everyone likes to get off to a fast start, and they certainly have. It was a lovely round of golf. Lots of golf yet to be played, though. I'm interested to see how they handle the pressure. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Bean, Henny Koyak, and John McCarthy, plus all the hard-working folks behind the action at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.